kitty. Are you hungry? Do you want some food? Yes, I do. You're cute. You're cute. You're pretty. She says, I know I am. I am so cute. So according to the weather, today is the only day, oh, bad poo, today is the only day that it's not meant to rain. It's meant to be cloudy, but it's not meant to rain. Me and David have run out of pyjamas, so let's try and get them all washed and hung out and see, see if it actually uh, will not rain. Because if not, then it's all got to be dried in the house, which I don't really like doing. But look at the sweet peas. They're doing so well. They're huge. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. Working on a new project today. Um, so if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, um, we went to a partner cafe, which was really good. Dropped off a load of greetings cards. Um, but I want to really work this week on getting more greetings cards done. Um, and I'm working on this one, which is actually a pug wearing a graduation mask but he's also a graduation hat but he's also wearing a surgical mask um, and it's gonna be like a social distance graduation sort of card um, be quite unique to look back on in a couple of years time um, but yes yeah, so I'm gonna be working out today um, the washings all done I'm gonna make sure that uh, there's definitely no rain fingers crossed we also checked the cat bed that we put out for the cat last night she has been in it um, the food has gone down um, we do keep an eye out in anywhere for cats and there's only um, two other cats and their brother and sister and they've both got little black tips on the tail but they've got collars on so we know that they're definitely on so they won't touch the food so it is definitely that cat come in and um, there is a little bit of like ginger uh, not ginger like tabby sort of fur in the bed as well so she has definitely been so we're just keeping an eye out today out the front to try and catch her and um, trying to catch some of the neighbors see if they know of her I have spoken to a few and they don't know who she is or if she's owned um, but like I said the ultimate goal is that we want to try and get her confident enough so that we can get her to the vet to see if she's chipped but if she's not chipped then we need to sort of take action on that because it's quite cold this week obviously I'm wearing a jumper and we don't really want her out like in the wind and in the rain which is why we put that little bed out so yeah just have to see but yeah let's crack on hello you sniffing you just sniff the air quite enjoys getting the breeze right on her nose so she sticks her nose right through the window and has a good sniff don't ya don't ya are you hungry <laughs> well I've just fed you so you can't have anything just yet yeah look at that big swishy tail What are you watching? Hi! <laughs> Hello! Your little wet nose. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
can have a kiss. Sizzle, sizzle. Good old onions. So we're currently making the little cast. Um, it's a little bed, so we've just got an old beer crate here. Um, and we've just found this, literally just by our bins. Um, so there must have just been someone who's just ordered something, like a big washing machine. Um, so we've just stapled it to it, and then David's got some really old pyjamas. Um, and he's just popping, popping them in. And then this is gonna fold over, so it'll have like a little heat barrier on it and it, we put it in the bottom as well so it's nice and insulated and then pop some food and some water in for her and then hopefully through the night she'll take refuge there and with it being David's pyjama bottoms um we'll get the scent of David on her well it's more than anything it's just to keep her warm it's to keep her warm obviously yeah but if she gets used to our scent then she might come to us a little bit more so we can get it to the bed yeah Hopefully, if this works, we might be able to get it to the vet tomorrow and see if she's chipped. But she has not made an appearance at all. Um, probably because she's got a really full tummy. <laughs> she's eaten so much tuna. But yeah, it's going to get the vet checked out. Let's pop some food and water in for her. Just like to say that this spinach is freshly grown from mine and David's garden. Exciting! So that's an interesting turn of events. Um, so I've literally just put a post on Facebook um, giving everybody an update about the cat, and I've just got a direct message of somebody in our area saying that it's um, they know the cat. So they're bringing round cat traps and um, microchip checkers. So yeah, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? Um, apparently, it was it was taken by mistake. Somebody thought that they'd lost a cat. They, well, somebody lost a cat. They thought it was theirs. So the cat was then taken to their house. But the second that it got let out in the house, it ran out, and that's it's ended up with us. So it must only be like a couple of streets away from us. Um, but we've put the we've put the bed out and everything and. Yeah, so we're just waiting on this lady to come round now. She's gonna bring us all the equipment and then once we trap him, um, we'll end up taking him to the vet, getting him chipped, getting him neutered. And then she's saying about possible rehoming, so we have to see. So the lady's just come round um, and delivered the cat trap. So we've just covered it up so it looks a little bit more like a cat bed. Put a little trail of treats in and we're literally just gonna wait and wait for him to come. When he does come, we're going to put a full tin of tuna in to tie him in. Um, and then we'll look after him until the charity can come and pick him up. Um, he needs to be neutered, but he is homeless. So, yeah, poor little baby. But no, he's in safe hands, but it's going to be a long night for us because we're going to be having to stay up because we don't want to trap him and then leave him out here all night. So, yeah. This is going to be our current position for the night. <laughs> It's currently um, it's currently 1am, um, we haven't seen um, the cat yet, so yeah, we've decided we're going to we're gonna um, take it in shifts, so I'm, I'm on sleep first because I was up first this morning, um, David's going to stay up and then we're going to swap every couple of hours, um, just because we don't really want the cat staying in the cage for too long outside. Um, so yeah, we're going to settle in, um, I'm going to get some sleep and then um, in a couple of hours David will be swapping. So yeah, fingers crossed tomorrow, tomorrow's vlog we might have a little cat. Yay! But yeah, um, please give this video a big like and subscribe as well if you haven't. Um, this is probably going to be one of the biggest things that's going to happen in our lives in lockdown for a long time. But yeah. But yeah, stay safe everybody, um, give us a cheeky like and subscribe, we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, hopefully with another cat. Bye!